What's going on everybody and welcome to your 46th <coughs> JavaScript tutorial in which we'll be working with forms and regular expressions combined for validation. Now without regular expression you may be able to validate forms which are simple enough like uh, if you want to just check the length of the string entered, the substring and all that uh, small stuff you want to check but when things are like um, you're checking for an email address say that you want to add the rich sign, a top level domain and all that complex check of an email address and we have <coughs> say you want to check for a person's name or anything like phone number, zip code, address or anything you want then the traditional JavaScript API is not that much effective to check against and validate against those input so we have regular expressions for forms as well so let's say uh, basically using validation on forms themselves would allow you to save two-way run for your script for example if you don't have any validation on the front end with JavaScript and you're validating all your data on the back end then what happens is sometimes user submits and your code runs to backend and then receives all that stuff and then the page reloads which is kind of time consuming and frustrating for the user so what you can do is you can just validate the data on front end as well as in backend so it will not cost them a couple or more of trips to validate the data completely so let's see how we can build a regular expression validation for form so first of all we need some forms up there and I'll just give it an ID of my form let's say let's create an input type of text and uh, let's put an ID of name and a placeholder let's give it name so that it's easier to catch up what I wrote in the browser then the next one should be um, what do you say email let's go with email and placeholder email okay so we have got name we have got email and the next field we could go with address that should be interesting to validate actually and address here we go and if you basically look at regular expressions then once you grab the concept then after that regular expressions are just a cakewalk just you need to know about the basics of regular expression and how they all are working so let's <coughs> go with phone as our last phone whoa <laughs> p-h-o-n-e last input field and I'll just go ahead and would create a type submit button and well you should be obviously go or submit or whatever and down here let's just grab it or basically we don't need this ID at all I'll just do on submit and validate this so when this button is clicked that means when this form would be submitted then this function would be called so let's create this function down in the script validate this and let's first of all return false and I'm doing return false so that it doesn't take the default action which the browser is supposed to do if I pass uh, you say like action right here so if I do like action abc.php and I pass return false in the validate function then this form would not actually submit to the site so anyways let's clear that and first of all let's grab all the data we need to have so first of all by id uh, you say name dot value we need the value as you know then we need the email and I'll just copy that who needs to type all that stuff the next one is address copy that 
the next one is phone copy that and that's pretty much it so name email should be email address should be address and phone should be phone obviously and let's go ahead and create separate regular expressions for each of them and I'll just go with literal ones and make sure you name them different because for each validation we need a different regular expression and for phone regex and this should be address regex so we just don't redeclare a variable and we're good to go so let's begin with name regex so for the name one what I need to do is first of all the name let's say my name Mehul Mohan now this starts with a alphabet obviously and contains a space and then my last name which is my surname so we need to check against only only alpha bits and a space obviously no formal name would contain actually a number or any special character unless you are doing a username or something like that so first of all what I want to do is I would create a range A to Z I want the name to have A to Z and for a space I would just press my space bar and inside this range I have A to Z and a space now the space right here signify that it could be either A to Z or it could be either a space so to do that first of all let's say A should begin with this thing and I would just remove the space because this thing right here would signify that it should either begin with any alphabet between A to Z or a space but we don't want it to begin with a space so let's remove the space right here I would write a plus sign here so that it's at least one or more uh, letters in name and now let's create a space range so that at least we have got a space then again we could create A to Z or something like that so basically we could actually do it like question mark so to make this thing optional right here and finally let's make all of this thing case insensitive with this flag of I and now we have got a nice regular expression and make sure you end it with a dollar sign so that at last we have this range of A to Z in the last so the user doesn't end it with a space and we could actually do a plus sign here so we have got a nice little regular expression for checking out the names now email and I guess I guess I had written this email right here in the 44th tutorial and I have explained it well I guess so I'll just copy it from 44th so I need not to write it again but if you want to understand how it is working then you're free to go to my 44th tutorial and I'll be happy to explain you and we can just make a couple of amendments to it I'll just say that it should begin with this and it should end with this so that's not required actually unless you are doing some hard code validation and let's do the address one so for the address one what I want to know uh, what I want to have from the user is either A to Z in their address um, a number for their house number any space they want uh, a comma they could have in their address a period and uh, they could also have a dash so that's pretty much I remember which is in a particular address so if I missed out something you're free to go and write your own one and this should be at least one or more and should end with itself and should start with it as well so there's a regular expression for the address one and then we have the phone one the phone one as you know would contain only digits and I would like it to begin with a digit I would like it to end with a digit and 
I would like to have exactly 10 consecutive digits in the phone. In India, we have uh, phone numbers in the format like plus 91 is the extension for India, then 9999999999 or any other number which are 10. So, this is a mobile, a typical mobile number in India. So, I'll just go with my format of the Indian version. So, now we have got all these regular expressions ready to be tested against the strings we have and let's test each of this so let's say um, name regex dot test and let's say for the first one I have name similarly I'll just console log the next lines next couple of lines as well so email regex goes here address one goes here and phone one goes here and similarly evil here address here and phone here so we are good to go now here's my browser window right here and let's reload this and I've got a nice form let's open inspect elements so it's easy to grab what we're doing now first of all let's click on go so okay so I guess there's something going on here let's say return validate this and now let's check this out okay so that's fixed so return false was actually not returned in the main function so now make sure you type return while you did this and now once I reload this and click on go with nothing inside this so we get all the four as false that means the input is not accepted from the user now let's say I give it a name mayhul and go and I just clear the console so I'll click on go and I get true in the first one because Mehul is a valid name and if I give it Mehul Mohan as well clear the console go it gives me true but once I include any special characters like an exclamatory mark and then it gives me again false so name one works perfectly the email one <coughs> as from the next tutorial the previous one this would work good I'll just got to clear this to so work good, the true one, but this would not. So this would not. So here you can see. And for the address one, this would work. Whoa, my address just popped up. So the address one would work as long as you are supplying some good amount of address. True, but if you do like something like that while invalid address then it would pop up false again again for the phone one as well uh, if I do like this one and I click on go it would pop up true but not for some invalid phone number so it would pop up false so that's how pretty much you validate an address and a phone number and an email and a name in regular expressions and that's how you use your form regular expressions so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe